We have journeyed into space, defined time, and even begun to decode the very essence of what makes us who we are, our genome. Yet despite all of these breakthroughs, the brain still remains a mystery. In 1951, Dr. Wilder Penfield published his seminal work in mapping the sensory and motor cortices of the brain. But this was only the beginning. The EEG, conceived in the late 1920s, captures brain activity that can reflect our thoughts. Could EEG and MRI techniques be combined to create a window into the brain? During my first year at university, I realized I could study what the brain was doing in real time. The brain and trying to decode its secrets has been my career path since that day. Why is it that the brains of autistic children or very preterm born children appear much the same as normal brains, yet function very differently? Or what about the 30% of soldiers returning from war suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder? Can we see its impact on their brains? Our team was asked this question by Defense Research and Development Canada. We examined the brains and brain function of returning war vets to see if we could identify the physiological impact of emotional trauma. The outcomes have made waves of their own. By measuring, exploring, and charting the brain, we are now beginning to understand if it can be retrained or rewired. This last mysterious organ is slowly beginning to be understood, and perhaps now we can improve the outcomes of those living with brain injury or impairment. <laughs>